The friends and family of Matt Campbell, the former MasterChef contestant who died after collapsing during Sunday's London Marathon, have said they will complete the final four miles of the race for him this weekend. They've also raised more than £100,000 in his name since Sunday. It's not yet been confirmed what caused his death, but hundreds were treated for exhaustion and dehydration in those record temperatures we saw. Among them was the ITV reporter Hannah Bechelet, an experienced runner who was taken to hospital. She was filming as she ran with a selfie stick, and this is the story of her race. This isn't how anyone wants to end their marathon. Lying on the floor around 11 miles in, so hot I was delirious and simply unable to carry on. I'd trained for months and the day had started off well. That's it. I'm off. Just 26.2 miles to go. But it wasn't long before the heat started to kick in. I am already hot. I can't imagine what these guys must be feeling. You're crazy! Every station I went by, I picked up water, but I wasn't managing to cool myself down. I'm just so hot, so, so hot. I'm at 10 miles and I'm back running, but this is tough. This is really tough. And whilst my family were waiting for me to run past just a mile away, I realised my marathon was over. I was incredibly lucky to have been looked after by strangers. And while the race continued around me, those strangers called my family and found me help from the emergency services. And with the police's support, I officially left the race. I'm glad you've stopped on. I'm really worried about you. The police officers stayed with me until my family arrived, St John ambulance medics and then paramedics who took me to hospital. My marathon that was so hopeful at the start, ending on the floor of Bermondsey Station. Well, I'm delighted to say that Hannah is now fully recovered, back at work in Jersey and spoke to me just before we both came on air. Hannah, it made me a little teary watching what you've just been through. How are you doing now? I'm good, thank you, um, now. It was, Sunday was a horrible day, but luckily now I've had a couple of good night's sleep, so I'm feeling a lot better. There were lots of warnings from the race organisers about what to expect this year with the heat. Do you feel on the day, for the time that you were able to run, that the race organisers did enough to make sure things didn't happen to runners like yourself? Well, there were lots of showers on the route, which there weren't um, as many of, I don't think, when I ran it before seven years ago. And there were water stations, but I just found that I was picking up water at every water station and I was still desperately looking for the next water station. So for me, I was just so thirsty all the way round. And they did say that it was going to be hot and I did take that advice on board and made sure that I picked up all the water as I went round and poured it over myself when I felt really hot. But for me, I guess it just wasn't my day. We were really surprised that you managed to carry on filming even when you collapsed. You were clearly delirious. Do you know what made you do that? I had no idea and I, I didn't even realise just how much I'd filmed until uh, my husband watched it back because I just can't remember. I can't really remember lying on the side of the road or those people helping me, but there just must have been something in me that I, I guess I started filming before I stopped um, stop running. I just kept filming and I, I don't know why. I'm, I'm a bit bemused by that myself. Before I let you go, a quick question. Will you run the marathon again? My family have told me no. 
Um, but I do feel it's a bit unfinished business. But whether I could put them through that worry again is something I'll have to decide in, in the next couple of years, I guess. That's a yes. Hannah Bechelet, thank you very much for joining me. <laughs>